Hello there everybody, my name is Bloomer Brown and welcome back to Ballymoon Castle. Uh, we are into episode 3 and it is mid-spring, bright and early in the morning. Um, we've lost quite a bit of money overnight. Um, most of it is due to us uh, leasing equipment. Um, so yeah, last night we lost 2,000 euro on, I'm guessing, the cedar. Um, it is the only other piece of it is the only piece of leased equipment we have at the moment, I think. Um and looking at the sheep, I think we're going to need to get up there this morning as well and have a look at them before we actually start doing anything. So the health is at about forty seven. We've got mm, a little under half of a pallet of wool. Uh the cleanliness is way down to twenty seven. And we'll probably give them a little bit of water and some hay as well while we're up there. Uh, but first, I'm going to uh, get the cultivator out because we can put a worker on that. I think he should be able to manage at least part of the field, uh, the large field that we have. I think it's field 19. Uh, and probably better to pick that up first. And we're going to pop, pop over as far as that field and uh, let him get a head start before we start sowing out the oilseed rape ourselves. Um, he may struggle with the field um, over there, but I'm s and so it may be a case that we'll end up doing it ourselves. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if this tractor is going to be able to pull this cultivator or not. Um, if it isn't, we'll be down quite a bit of money um, trying to save our sons. Um, buying a slightly bigger one. It seems that the grass is starting to grow as well. Um, we do have crop destruction turned on as well, though it doesn't seem to be affecting grass, although I think this is the first growth state that it actually reverts back to uh, by driving over it. Uh, so how do we unfold this? Is it B? Is it X? It's X. Okay, so we're going to line up. We may do the first line ourselves, or at least get it started anyway. And we're going to load it down. And we're going to see how this poor tractor performs. And 7 miles an hour, that's not too bad at all. It actually seems to be pretty capable at uh, pulling this machine. Uh, so we may as well just hire the worker now. And see how he gets on. Yeah, he seems to be doing okay. So I think that we're going to um, let him off and leave him to his devices and get this field tilled while we head over and take a look at the sheep farm. Uh, oh yeah, that, that was me. I got in the way of the machine. So yeah, I'm going to head over and tend the sheep for today, and then I'm going to come back and start sowing out the sowing out the oilseed rape, or the canola, as the Americans call it. Hopefully, he won't run into um, too much difficulty, and we'll be able to get back before he gets as far as the telegraph pole. And since we're on the job, we may as well. Uh, take the scenic route and head up past the um, grass field over here because I think it's actually started to grow. Whoa! Swinging all over the place. And uh, we'll get a look to see if it has actually started to germinate or not. Uh, I think it probably should have at this stage. Um, seems a bit silly that it germinated overnight, but. Um, Oh, it has, yeah. So it started to grow. I'm not entirely sure if a coat of fertility yeah, didn't oversow the um, the wheat either, so that we have a little patch of wheat growing right there. And uh, not to worry. Um, sure, we'll deal with that somehow. We may even just run the combine over it uh, when we go to our harvest. I think it will be wheat that we'll sow over in the other field over there, uh, which is uh, field number 17. Okay, so it's not 19, it's, this is actually field 18 that we've got our worker in at the moment. Um, so yeah, I think 
has my steering sensitivity uh, been affected? Because I know that the mod did update and I did um, change it. Maybe it's what was it? Um, it was look backwards. Uh, speed sensitivity left control C. Okay, no, it's it's fine. It's still set the way it was. Uh, there was an update to that mod uh, since I last played, and I just noticed that the steering seems to be a little bit squirrely. Uh, since though it's probably a little bit smoother. Uh, it's a great mod. Um, that's the one that um, helps with uh, keyboard steering because I don't actually have steering wheel and pedals or anything like that so uh, anything that helps at all with the steering is worthwhile so we've got a crop planted in there as well or at least partially planted and uh, not entirely sure what it is to be honest uh, it doesn't look like it's perhaps it hasn't um just fully hasn't germinated at all over the field just yet and that's why we're getting that kind of patchy texture um, so yeah, we do need to invest in a sprayer at some stage. Uh, I think we just go with the standard one. Um, not actually sure what make it is. Um, it does come with a booster tank to uh, allow you to carry extra fertilizer, but I don't think we're going to bother, bother with that. Uh, for the meantime, anyway, we're just going to go for the sprayer itself. Okay, so I will head over to the sheep and uh, catch up with you uh, when we reach them. Okay, so we have arrived. Um, they haven't actually created as much of a mess as I was expecting. Uh, so we're just going to scoop this up and hopefully uh, we'll be able to uh, feed it back to them. And just... Uh, in and out and try and scoop it up. Let's see if we can get a better angle on the bucket there. And want to drive through. Okay, they've started to accept it as food. That's excellent. And we're gonna back out again and we're gonna just gather up those last few little bits. Um, I've actually not got the e table manners mod installed. Uh, if the livestock does become a little bit tedious to be looking after, um, I may install it. But this isn't um, a huge amount of stuff to be cleaned up, and they're back at 72% cleanliness. Um, why is it only 72? Okay, some of it's phased through the wall there. Uh, let's see if we can gather that up as well. So they do tend to um, overspill through the wall as well somehow. Uh, they must be having a hell of a party here at night. Uh, and we're caught on the wall, aren't we? Yeah, we are. If we could just get away from it and come back in in a better angle. There we go. Another tiny little bit here that we may or may not be able to pick up. And um, we are. I'm just going to scoop that up. Uh, great demand at transport for wool. Let's actually take a look at that price. Uh, we've got about a half pallet. Or maybe it's a full pallet that we have. Just going to take a look at the price. I'm not... Entirely, oh, 9,477. Might actually be worth selling uh, for that price, uh, just because we're a little bit short on cash at the moment. My plan was to kind of hold the wool until um, winter and sell it off then, but uh, a price like that is not to be sneezed at. Whoa. Uh, 
just gonna tip that back in. How is their cleanliness now? And just click through. 99%, that's good enough for me. And they could do with a little bit of hay and a little bit of water. And I'd rather not have to come back to them uh, too soon again, just because we've got a little bit of work to do uh, on the farm itself. Um, we're just going to drop the bucket there. The little glitch uh, seems to have gone away uh, where I would um, leave down the tools and that kind of thing and they would uh, sort of reattach themselves. I'm not entirely sure what was going on with that, uh, but it seems to have fixed itself. Uh, yeah, so we're going to grab them a bale as well. We're actually working our way through these bales pretty quickly. Though, the summer is coming and we should be able to... Uh, our first priority, our first cut of grass is actually going to be on... I've blocked that entrance to the uh, shed with the bucket, so I'm going to have to go over here. Oh. Okay. I may just lower that down back off a little I don't it may just be me that hasn't played in a while but I'm finding the controls in general to be a little bit squirrely at the moment um, I don't think the game has been updated as I say the steering mod has been updated but um, I don't see how that would affect everything else, so maybe it's a case that, um, yes, that's enough grass. We might as well just connect up to the Bowser and uh, pump a little bit of water in for them as well. Just as I say, I'd rather not have to deal with them uh, every single day, because I'm not sure how busy we're going to be um, tomorrow, uh, in-game tomorrow. It may a case that we will be starting some other things. So I'm just going to connect up to that. And we're going to uh, pump a little bit extra water in there. Okay. It would probably be a better idea to try and bring the Bowser down with us as we're going. Um, Oh, we did have a demand for wool, didn't we? So, it may be worth um, taking that pallet down to the transport as we're going. Uh, seeing as how it is, 9,000 euro. Um, we don't actually have a pallet fork. But I think that we should be able to take it on the uh, bale spikes. I just have to remember to return them back here again once we're done, because I'm not sure that we'll be coming uh, directly back here. Might as well take this off for a sec. And let's see if we can pick this up. We should get about 4,000 for this. There are there about something that's maybe 4,300 or something going on the price, uh, depending on how much we have in there. Um, but it's worth, uh, when the price is that good, it's worth just selling off what we have uh, rather than storing it up. And when the price does go uh, lower, we will of course be storing it up. Uh, it's just, it's too good uh, a price to resist at this stage. Uh, now let me try and remember where the transport is from here. I think 
we kind of have to double back on ourselves once we get to the end of the road here, uh, which is a pretty tight turn considering we're hauling the Bowser as well. Uh, I'm sure I'll figure a way around it somehow. And nothing coming, and away we go. Aha, there was a back way into here. Um, so that'll save us trying to take that uh, rather tight hairpin corner uh, to come up along the main road. And we're just going to try and let ourselves in this way. Uh, I think that's actually the car park I was stuck in uh, last time and couldn't figure my way back out. Uh, I must have missed this gate up here. Uh, I knew that there was, I, or at least I had it in my head that there was another way in and out of here. Uh, just make sure we're not scraping the water tank on anything. Uh, collapsing walls. Yes, yeah, so we got trapped in this. I got trapped in this car park. I say we, um, but it was me that got trapped in here and couldn't find my way back out. Uh, I did have it in my head that there was a way in and out up here. Uh, so let's see. I think the wool sale point is over here, if memory serves. Yep, that's it over there. So we should be able to just drop this pallet and see how much wool we actually collect. Or rather, how much money we actually collect uh, from the sale of this. And it's sold. And 9,100. Okay, so it must be per thousand. Uh, have we got much more? Well, we'll wait for a little while and see uh, how long the great demand goes on for. So we've got about 14% of a pallet. So that means a pallet would probably bring in uh, close to 20,000 of these prices, which is fantastic. Um, as I say, I wouldn't um, sell only for the price is so good and we're running so short on money at the moment. Uh, mostly my fault buying tons of equipment. Uh, what was I looking for in here? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, the quantity of wool. Ah, uh, yeah, does it tell us how long? The great demand. I think they're usually something like 11 hours. Uh, we don't need that beacon on. Okay, that's it switched off. Uh, we may as well save the game while we're here. And it is time head back down to the main yard and see how our worker is getting on. Uh, that money, I like seeing that green figure up there. It's kind of good to be having a little bit of money coming in at this stage. Uh, so let's see what's the fastest way to go back to the farm. Uh, well we could take this route here. I think we will actually. We're going to open up this gate. Uh, we may as well leave it open. Um, after this. Oh. There's no point in closing it up again. Uh, I'm sure the workers will whoever's working here will close it at night before they go home. Um, it just makes it more convenient for us driving in and out with the tractor. Um, because I think it's a place that we'll be spending a little bit of time. Don't want to pull out one of that car. I think we're going to take the field track back down to the main yard and see how the worker's getting on with the cultivating. Um, he's probably got a fair head start on us at this stage. Okay, I'm just going to go pull out and hopefully not hit anybody or cut anybody off. Okay. So yeah, yeah, he should have a good head start on us at this stage. And we should be able to go straight into sowing out our oilseed rape, um, which we probably should have sown by now, to be honest, it is mid-spring at this stage. And I think you can start sowing that in early spring. In fact, I think we're actually past the germination temperature for it already, so... Uh, there is no time to waste. Yeah, I think it's just the germination on that field that is a little bit patchy. Which is something that I think will start happening to our field of oilseed rape once we start sowing it out. Um, so how's our worker getting on? 
Is he in motion? Has he stopped or is he actually moving? Is he having a tea break? Is he on the phone? I can't actually see past that pillar. Um, yeah, he's still going. That's brilliant. Um, he's actually made a little bit of progress. So we should be able to just hook up to the cedar and follow him along. I'm going to drop this Bowser down at the main yard. I may as well refill it now. And tomorrow I'll probably drag it back up to the sheep uh, because I'll probably need tending again tomorrow. Uh, we're also going to need to start uh, spraying fields. This one in particular. <laughs> a little bit of wheat. Um, but that's going to be definitely something that will probably... Well, I'm assuming it'll be either tomorrow uh, in-game or the next day uh, before we start spraying because we need to let them get through a growth stage uh, before we start applying fertilizer. Otherwise, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, you can only fertilize once per stage. Uh, I think there's a little bit of flexibility in when you actually do it, but if you just try to do three stages of fertilization uh, at the very beginning, uh, well then... Uh, nothing will happen and you'll just be wasting fertilizer. Actually, I don't even know if it will take the fertilizer. Um, so I don't know. Well, though I think it will, I think it will actually um, allow you to spread the fertilizer and cost you money, but it won't actually do anything for you. So let's see if we can find the trigger for this. Am I way off? I'm pretty far off, but it should register. Is it going to register? No, it's not going to register. Of course it's not. Uh, or maybe should we just have to actually press I, no. Um, okay, while well, I get this thing maneuvered around and try and actually get some uh, water into it. And then I will jump straight out to the field and uh, begin sowing our oil seed radish. I may actually refill the cedar with fertilizer and um, seed before I do that. Now I'm having a lot of trouble controlling things at the moment. Um, is it R to refill? It's R to refill. I was pressing I. I is on load as far as I know. Anyway, I'm going to uh, refill the cedar. I'm going to find somewhere to store this for the time being. And then we're going to get out and start planting our oilseed radish. Or oilseed rape, actually. Oilseed radish is a winter crop. Okay. A point to note. Um, I never sold off the uh, original cultivator. Um, it's still sitting in the shed right here. And that brand new piece of equipment is out on the field. Although it does have a wider working width. Uh, I think we're going to need to sell that off uh, when we're returning the other um, cultivator. Anyway, mistakes were made and I'm sure I'm going to make plenty more uh, as we go along. Okay, so we are filled up and ready to go. Um, this is actually probably a little bit heavy for the Massey. Um, but we'll see how we get on. Um, our guy is quickly approaching the telegraph pole on, which causes him no end of difficulty. Um, so we'll probably have to intervene at some point and maybe see. Uh, I have selected the OLC rape this time, which is fantastic. We don't want to sow a little patch of wheat again or a patch of grass. And so, um, yeah, I think this is going to turn into something of a little time lapse again or something. I know I do quite a few of them. Uh, it's just this field work is kind of repetitive. Um, so, yeah, I will see you in a little bit.
and we are done and I think it's time to get this thing back down to the shop and get it returned. Um, I'm not entirely sure but I don't think we're able to unload the seed once we have actually put it in. And the same for the fertilizer which is a little bit upsetting for me because I was... As I was trying to refill the fertilizer, uh, the inevitable happened and I was tapping the seed instead and uh, costing ourselves a little bit of money. Uh, there's actually a great demand on for dress seed at the moment and uh, uh, there's transport and I am actually tempted uh, to fill up a trainer or maybe even two and get it down there and uh, see if we can uh, sell it off. Of course we'll have to bring it over to the dressing plant first and as I say I'm not entirely sure how long these um, great demands last. I'm assuming the one for the wool. No, I don't. Yeah, we definitely we can't unload this. Um, so I think the best course of action is. Let me just check how much wool we have got. Okay, so transport wool is still a very very good price. Um. Does seed appear on this? It doesn't actually appear on the economy thing, so I'm not actually sure how much money I'm going to make uh, from selling dress seed. E since there is a great demand, it's kind of worth finding out though. Um, so how best to work this? Uh, let's see how much wool we've actually got left. Okay, so we've got 19% of pallet. Um, but I, um, I think, just because I have an I know feeling that that um, great demand for wool isn't going to last for very much longer, I think I'm going to bring the bale spike uh, back down towards the sheep farm, which it needs to go back anyway. And where I actually put it. I think it's somewhere up this side of the yard. And I'm going to also return this at the same time and take whatever wool we have and bring it down uh, to the transport and sell it off. Um, so, yeah, let's see where this is. I, I've also figured out that uh, the reason the tractor is slipping around, I'm guessing it's that ground response mod. Uh, it's a mod that the name I, it constantly escapes me. Uh, I think it's called Ground Response. Uh, it basically affects uh, traction and uh, suspension going over rough terrain. And I think that combined with the weight of the cedar is actually making the tractor slide around on the wet ground a little bit more. Um, I may end up disabling it if it becomes too much of a problem. I know the farmers have to deal with it in real life, uh, but this isn't going to be an uber realistic series. If I wanted to uh, do the real thing, I would probably just go out and start farming. Um, I suppose playing a video game. Um, but yeah, uh, it may be a case that I'll end up turning it off. I seem to have pretty reasonable grip here again, though I do seem to be sliding just a little bit. Um, could be fun in the winter, uh, although the snow is turned off, we could go drifting in the fields uh, with the tractor, uh, which would be interesting. Anyway, I am going to try to return this cedar as quickly as possible because I do not want it uh, hanging around and me forgetting about it and it potentially costing me another 2,000 euro tonight because we are actually uh, completely finished with it now. And yeah, we have all three feet of our fields sewn up at this point. Uh, so we're not going to be needing one again until next year. And hopefully we'll be able to afford our own at that stage and hopefully it'll be a bigger one. Uh, it's still actually debatable uh, whether or not I should have tilled the soil after ploughing. Uh, because this does seem to be able to deal with uh, planting over ploughed ground. Uh, it cannot 
uh, plant on stubble or anything like that. Uh, the ground does have to be cultivated in that, in that kind of case, but it did seem to be able to plant straight over the ploughed ground, so maybe I may have um, cost myself additional money for very little reason um, in purchasing the cultivator. I mean, we actually even have another cultivator that I need to sell off as well. Um, we'll probably deal with that later on. I'm going to get this down to the shop and uh, see about selling some more of the wool. Okay, and I think I have arrived back at the uh, transport just in time uh, to take advantage of the great demand that has been on for seed. Um, as you can see, I have filled up two trailers using some of the wheat and barley that we had in stock. And we are going to attempt to sell this. Uh, so let's just unload this one. Uh, incidentally, I did sell uh, the wool. Uh, we had about 406 litres, which netted us close to 4,000 euro, uh, which was pretty insane. And uh, that has actually just brought in 56,000 euro uh, in seed. Uh, let's just unload the second trainer there as well. And we will see how much money we are making. Oh, wow. Uh, this was well worth doing. Uh, unfortunately, I think that, that yeah, that's another 31,000 euro. Uh, that is absolutely fantastic. How much are you going to shut off? Uh, wait, I need to pull the tractor out first before I shut off the machine. Um, because it is rather loud. And we're just going to pull up there. We might as well shut off the engine as well for a moment and uh, switch that off so yeah that's not a bad day's profit uh, I don't think I'll actually have time to run back ah that's lovely uh, I don't think I'll have time to run back and grab another trailer it does take quite a bit of time to produce uh, down at the seed dressing plant uh, the great demand for wool has ended at this stage uh, just checking on wool uh, okay. Oh yeah, the, the little red bar uh, freaked me out there a little bit. So yeah, we've got about 154 wool, uh, which isn't a huge amount, even if we did still have the great demand. And the price is probably plummeting at this stage. Though no, it's still uh, 8,000, though I think it was up over 9,000 when we were selling. Uh, so uh, we have finished off all of our wheat, and we've got about 784 litres of the barley left. I wonder does it tell us how much um, seeds we have still in stock? No it doesn't uh, because I think we may have some left. I did take a little bit out uh, just to finish topping up the trailer um, before making my way down here. Uh, the Massey Ferguson most definitely wasn't the tractor uh, to be using for this. I should have put it onto the case but uh, it got the job done anyway. Um, so, I think that since it's getting pretty dark out here and it does kind of make watching videos a little bit difficult uh, once the sun sets, I think I'm going to get myself back home and into bed and count all the money that we made today. And yeah, I'm going to take this opportunity to say thank you very much for tuning in. You have been watching Plumber Brown on YouTube, and I will see you next time.